What's going on, YouTube? This is what we're trying to do with somebody just showed up at my door with a package. I cannot wait to open this. So let's just get into it. This. Let's tear it up. Let's get it open. I want to play with what's in here. Really, really, really bad. Oh. All right. This package is from Google. So. Ah. Uh, Oh. oh my word. Oh my word. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I uh, will order the Nexus 6P the moment it's available to order because it is sold out. And I love my Nexus 5. It is still a phone I use to this day. It looks like I've done something to the camera there or something like that. But it's still a phone I use to this day, actually. And um, I like it. I like it a lot. I love it. My Nexus 6. Still a great phone. Still really like it. Don't use it that much anymore because I've really been enjoying my Note 5. And I... I don't know. It's, it's a great phone. And I... Don't, uh, I have Project Fi coming, actually, so I'm probably going to put Project Fi on this thing and try it out and then do a video on that. It's taking them a little while to bring it to me, but look at it. Look at it. All right. So we've got to cut. We've got to cut to open this. This is like, this is like heaven. <laughs> My birthday's in a few days, and I feel like I'm celebrating it right now right now look at this look at this nexus what is under here what is under here okay charger charging cable power button sim card and charger and nfc and fingerprint scanner which is awesome and then usb which is awesome oh let's do this let's do this um interesting let's take a look at the stats on this sucker Looks like it's 5 volts and 1.5 amps. Looks like this one does not support quick charging right away. I don't know if the phone itself does. I uh, Nexus 6 did, so I don't know why the Nexus 5X wouldn't. But, um, yeah. So, I don't know. It's still something we have to discover and play with. What? What? Is this Type-C? Is this... Is this Type-C? I honestly wasn't... Is... What? It is! It's Type-C! This is USB Type C. It can go in either way. Okay. 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 Here's the phone. Here's the phone. Awesome. Let's go ahead and take this off here and pull this out. All right. Take this uh, thing on the back here. And I recommend, because it's going to peel off even if you put a case on it, I recommend sticking it in your box for safekeeping so you don't lose it. But, uh, so look at this. It can go this way, or it can go this way. So if it's late at night, you can plug your phone in in any direction. This is my first phone with the USB Type-C. This is awesome. I mean, Nova's actually making some USB Type-C card readers, such as these right here, uh, but these are for micro USB. Uh, they're making some for Type-C, and they're going to send it to me as soon as it's released. So that's awesome. You're going to be able to expand the storage on this thing, and you're going to be able to put it in any way you want to. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, let's charge up the phone. Let's do it. Dude, you don't have to worry about which way you do it. I can't get it to go in there. I don't know what's happening. There we go. It's in. And you should be able to flip this one around too, and get it to go in there. That's awesome. That is freaking awesome. Okay. Okay. Uh, try Google Play Music on us for 90 days. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Offer must be valid or until this date. And then we have uh, some other information here. A SIM card removal tool. Let's go ahead and get that sucker out. And then we have a safety warranty, blah, 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 blah. Anything else in here? No. That's it. That's it. All right. Let's play with the phone. Let's play with the phone. Let's play with the phone. All right, so let's take a look at the phone real quick. We've got a fingerprint scanner, so you just put your finger right there, which is pretty cool. I mean, you can use just one hand and unlock your phone, which is awesome, and I'm really feeling that. We've got an LED flash, a camera, and some sort of sensor at the moment here. 
we have our volume up and down and power buttons all on the same side, which uh, if you're using your phone as a dock, that can kind of get in the way because you try to put it right there in the middle and then you're going to be pressing those power buttons. I had that issue with my Nexus 6 here and I had to like off center with the little dash thing on the car where you open your window. So that was a little bit of annoying, but that's really the only gripe at the moment. We have our SIM card tray and let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and take our AT&T SIM card out of our Nexus 6 here since honestly this is definitely a new phone and it's more exciting so definitely want to play with it instead. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer these. Alright, got our little SIM card out. Let's put the tray back in there. And then let's pull out the SIM card on here. Awesome. Put the little SIM card in there and then put it in the side of the phone. Awesome. Okay, so we'll turn it on. Looks like it's doing something. Resetting or something. I don't know. There's the familiar Android 6.0 image. If you have a Nexus 5, a Nexus 6, a Nexus 7, or a Nexus player, then you already know about this Android 6.0 because the images have been up on their website for quite a couple, maybe a few weeks now, I don't know, like a, a little bit. So you've been able to download it and play with it. I have Android 6.0 on all my phones, except my Note 5, of course, because that's not a Google phone and you do not get updates directly from Google. And getting updates directly from Google is the best way to get updates. I cannot tell you how much I loved my Nexus 5. I cannot tell you how much I loved my Nexus 6. Because both of these phones got the latest version of Androids of Android while all the other carriers and phones are, are taking that image and then putting their customizations all over it. And in the time it takes them to do that, there's been a new version of Android. <laughs> So, so, I mean, come on. All right. Let's do the first setup here. Let's, let's, let's do this. Let's connect to our on hub router. Still using this bad boy. And it is also a Google router. Uh, let's put in our password. All right. Password is in. We're going to go ahead and connect to our router here. And the nice thing about buying this from Google is that your inner, your phone, I mean, no matter what SIM card you throw in there, should work. I know the Nexus 5 and the Nexus 6 would work anywhere from T-Mobile to Sprint. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> you can throw pretty much any SIM card in there. I don't know about this one. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so lots and lots of bands are supported. If you can, <laughs> there's still more under my finger there. <laughs> That's what I love about these phones is they just connect to pretty much any network in existence. Uh, I want to go ahead and do this manually. I don't really feel like tapping my phones together. Let's enter in our email. And then oh, I'm going to skip all this little like brief setup here where you put in your personal information. This is some of the things that ask you. I like to choose everything but those two things and then next. One thing I can tell you is just setting it up and putting in my email and password and stuff. This phone feels fantastic. The feedback is awesome. The smoothness and speed of it. Everything just so far is awesome. I do want to go ahead and set up a fingerprint. So let's go ahead and do that. Nexus uses him to wake up the unlock the, to wake up. To wake and unlock your phone, authorize purchases, and sign into the apps. Be careful whose fingerprints you add. Any fingerprints added will be able to do those things. Your fingerprint may be less secure than a strong pattern or pin. Huh. Okay. Probably because they can take like a little film of your fingerprint and put it on there and blah, blah, blah. All right. Next. Uh, let's set up a uh, pin or let's, let's just do a pattern. Require pattern to start device. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and do that just in case someone steals our phone. All right, I set up the pattern off screen. I wanted to go ahead and hide sensitive notification content. So if my phone's locked, someone can't see the phone number or like the name of the person that just messaged me. So I like to do that. Locate the Nexus on the back. Okay, that's back there. Place your fingerprint on there. Move your fingerprint to all different parts. Okay, so I'm probably going to pick it up and hold it like this. So let's go ahead and add another. Let's do our other finger. I don't really use my left hand, but 
just in case I pick it up with a different finger. Oh, that is so convenient. Oh, my word. To wake up and unlock your phone, just touch the Nexus thing. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> All right. I'm definitely liking this so far. Uh, no, let's go ahead and set it up as a new device. Don't want it taking all of my apps from all of my other devices. And then I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, I'm in because Google now is pretty freaking awesome. When my dad emails me his itinerary, I get a freaking Google now notification saying his flight's going to be here. And then I just head to the Kansas City airport and pick him up. It's pretty freaking awesome. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So there's the home screen. It says up here that it's restoring one of eight applications. And uh, as you open up apps, they're going to show up here at the top, like YouTube, Gmail, Play Music, and Calendar. Those are your either most accessed or favorites. I don't quite know yet. I haven't uh, really played with it too much to find out. I think it's just your most used apps. Like, let's go here and let's see what my ones on here are. Okay, so... Yeah, I use Twitter a lot on this phone when I pick it up, and then YouTube, so... Huh. Okay, so you've got Android Pay, so you can tap and pay your your uh, for, like, drinks and stuff, and machines, and etc. Uh, let's go ahead and do a little speed test to see just how fast the Wi-Fi on this phone is. Now, if you watch my Google Fire video on the Nexus 5, Nexus 6, Note 4, and etc., the Nexus 5 actually outperformed all the other phones I had. That was pretty impressive. I was definitely... Very happy with that, considering it was a phone that was already a couple years old, and it's already outperforming other phones I have. So let's see how the Nexus 6 handles things. Let's go to our more settings here, and let's click on OnHub, and it is connected at 866 megabits per second to my OnHub router. That is just awesome. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and wait for this to finish, because it is downloading other apps. 17 updates available. So if you want the very latest version of Android, if you want to have the newest stuff before all of your friends, if you want to root, make modifications, and customize the device to your liking, get a Nexus device. If you mess up, you can just go to the Google website, search Google Factory Images, and put a factory image back on your phone. Your stock recovery is back. You have the very latest update. Dude, it is amazing, and I, I cannot tell you how much I enjoy having Android from the source. No other companies like Samsung, HTC, or LG, or anybody making modifications to what's already there. They're taking what you get on this device, and they're adding in all their stuff. So like I said earlier, by the time they finally tested it, and made sure that everything works good, and figured out a way to send it to everybody's phone, there's a new version of Android out. And they've got to do it again. But if you have this phone right here, or this phone right here, or this phone right here, you have the latest version of Android at all times. It's amazing. It's amazing. All right, so it says pattern required. So I'm going to go ahead and just tap my finger here. And it unlocks. Or did it not do it right? Here, let's try it again. What the heck? It's vibrating every time I put my finger on there. Let's go to security real quick and let's see if it's set to lot to that. I don't know yet. I want to set it to uh, swipe pin password. Oh, what? You okay? So let's go ahead and lock it, and let's go ahead and put our finger on there. Ooh, ooh! <laughs> so if you want to do it like this, you you still can. And for some reason, at the moment, if you swipe up, oh, well, it worked that time. That's freaking weird. Okay, never mind. Scratch what I was going to say there. Oh, there's some new permissions on uh, the Nexus 6 on, on Android Lollip or Marshmallow. Nice. Just going to post a quick photo to my Instagram. All right, there we go. So just search www.joshdew or click the link in the description to take you to my Instagram and I post pictures and videos on what's uh going on and I posted that my Nexus 5X had shipped and will be here today so uh very very cool there's our new photo and we already have some freaking people that liked it thank you all right let's go ahead and try that speed test out finally all right speed test and let's 
do it. I don't know what we're going to get. Sometimes it's very, very good. Sometimes it's not very good. So, oh my. Oh my. Okay. That's, that's good. <laughs> I, uh, I want to, I want to try that again. Let's, let's try that again. Let's test again. That is just crazy. Yep, Wi-Fi on this phone is very, very good. <laughs> All right, that's about it for the unboxing. I'm going to be spending plenty of time with this thing. Let's go ahead and disconnect it from our Wi-Fi and hopefully it'll connect to our uh, AT&T LTE. Will you? Maybe you have to set up an APN or should just do all that for me. I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen. It says AT&T. Where's my LTE icon? Come on. All right, so uh, let's go to access point names and AT&T next gen phone. Okay, not sure why my AT&T is being a little douchebag at the moment, but we will figure all that out later. This is a direct cut right after the end of the video. Like I literally hit, like it powered on as I hit stop recording and my LTE connected everything's just fine so if i can do a speed test on their yeah look see their speed test it's definitely your most used apps that pop up there at the top which is pretty cool you don't have to go through a long list to find everything now this won't be nearly as good as t-mobile i get over 60 over 60 with my t-mobile here and with at&t i get way less than that it usually the best i've ever seen it's like 20 or 30 Okay, so 20 isn't too bad, but AT&T definitely does not have the LTE speeds that T-Mobile has here in Kansas City. Just not even close. But that's definitely not anything to complain about when I'm not at home. It's just their, connect, their connection's been so spotty and unreliable lately. I'm honestly at the point now where it's just like, I want to not have AT&T anymore and just strictly have T-Mobile. Can't believe we're on Android 6.0. We still don't have a freaking option to just simply reboot our phone versus waiting for it to power down and then holding the button and turning it back on. Not that hard, but I'd prefer to just press restart and go get a drink or do something else. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, do me a huge favor, please, and click the thumbs up button just below the video. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I will have the Nexus 6P as soon as I possibly can get it. I will have more videos than the Nexus 5X. I will have videos on the LG V10. I will have videos on many, many different things. And uh, there's that pattern it's asking me for to start my device. I put in the pattern. It says checking, and then it says starting Android. That is freaking awesome. So someone can't just steal my phone and turn it on. That is awesome. But anyways, this is what would Josh do. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you are not doing so already. I'll have links to everything in the description below. Peace out.